Hey guys, welcome to another week of Tribe Tools. Today, I'm here with Kia. Hello everybody, I'm so excited to be here with you today. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the kingdom of God and about communion and about how communion is a really powerful tool. And it's also a reminder to our spirits about the freedom and the life that was given to us by Jesus. Here on earth, we have friends and we have a community and we're a part of the family of mankind. But did you know that we're also a part of a heavenly family? When Jesus came here to earth, he made it possible for us to connect with the kingdom of God, wherein God is our father and Jesus is our king. And Jesus became the bridge between the earth and the kingdom of heaven. Like it says in John 18, 3, my kingdom is not of this world. My kingdom is not of this realm. When we take communion, we drink juice and we eat bread. On the earth, we eat bread for our bodies and we are hungry. It gives us energy, strength, and can heal our bodies. But Jesus is like bread for our spirits, just like how the bread we eat for supper strengthens and heals and empowers our body. Jesus strengthens and empowers and heals our spirits. Jesus is like spiritual bread for our spirits. Like it says in Romans 14, 17, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Or John 6, 48, I am the bread of life. The juice is red like blood, which represents the blood and life of Jesus, and that Jesus is our savior and our bridge to the kingdom of God. When we drink the juice during communion, we are saying yes to Jesus. We are saying that we choose him and we're saying that we want to enter the kingdom of heaven with him. Isn't that amazing? Like it says in Matthew 26 verses 27 to 28. And Jesus took a cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, drink of it all of you for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. So, when we eat the bread, we are saying that we will not depend on the things of this world to give us spiritual life, but that we depend on Jesus for that. We are committing to God as our source of strength, joy, and purpose. And when we drink the juice, we are saying that we choose Jesus as the bridge to the kingdom of heaven. When we live in connection with God and choose God, our lives are made new. We die as Jesus did on the cross to the world and we say that we won't depend on how popular we are or what clothes we wear, but instead we will depend on God to fulfill us. As it says in John 6, 35, Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will not hunger and he who believes in me will never thirst. When we take communion, we can say, Jesus, show me how to make you my bread, how to depend on you for strength and joy and peace. Jesus, I choose you the way that you chose me, and I commit to you today, and I love you. And we can ask, Jesus, show me how to depend on you more. How to depend on you is my source of joy and peace and strength. I want spiritual life through Jesus. Thank you for taking the time today to learn about the powerful tool of communion with us. We hope that the next time you take communion, it will be a reminder that you are a part of the kingdom of God and that you choose Jesus to be your spiritual bread. Bye for now. I'll see you guys next week. And remember to add this tool to your toolbox. Bye.